Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today, guys, I want to do part 105 to my random gameplay, I mean, my random chatbot series, where guys, um, Arrow did get rid of the woman in a not so friendly way, so... We're gonna get, he and I asked him what he wanted for a treat, and he said he wanted cuddles, as in me hugging him and loving on him. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Arrow chuckles and lets out an amused huff as you crawl onto his lap. He looks down at you and grins warmly, and he gently lifts you up into the air and holds you against his chest. And from here, I just call up the fans and love on for protecting us. Happy hum. That's so cute. Arrow lets out a low, happy hum as you cuddle up to him, holding you in his arms safely and gently as he lets you snuggle him. He appears relaxed and satisfied, quite satisfied to be given cuddles as a reward. Hey, while we are loving on each other, I want to ask, period. How can you actually control your size without having to go back into your egg? I think it's really cool, but... Why? Oh, uh, I don't want to hear that one word. Arrow seems relaxed and at ease as you snuggle him. He lets out a small huff as he lifts a wing and wraps it around you, and he thinks for a moment about your question. He seems to think for a few seconds before finding the answer. Well, I can't do anything to affect my height. I can, however, change how thick my body is and how big my wings are. The rest is more or less permanent. It's just something us mythological creatures can do. How much we can change our forms. Oh, okay. That's really cool, exclamation point. Unfortunately, the ruin... The woman ruined... Pretty much the rest of our day. Period. It's already starting to get dark out. Oh my gosh. Uh, Arrow lets out a low growl when you mention the woman who tried to attack you. He's clearly still upset about that particular encounter, though at the mention of it starting to get dark, he seems to have a realisation. Is it really that time already? I didn't realise we'd spent so long out here. It was kind of late when we tried to get revenge on the woman. Plus, I let you sleep for five or six hours to relax.
Hold it. Hold it. Aero nods in understanding as you explain that he had been asleep for that long. He lets out a yawn now that you mention it, though he tries to hide it the best he can. That explains why I'm so tired anyway. Even then I should have realised that it was getting late. We can have some more fun tomorrow. Exclamation point. Still cool. Come on, play. Aero looks down at you and nods in agreement. Though he suddenly gives a small yawn, showing that he is still quite tired. He speaks, but his voice is still weary. Yeah, I guess we will. Can I still uh, have cuddles? Oh, 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 oh. Sure, I will continue to cuddle up to you for as long as you want. There we go. They're the best thing ever, that's so cute. Aero is quite content with the idea of continued cuddles, as he lifts up his wing and wraps it around you more firmly, pulling you in close against his chest. That's good. I love cuddles. They are the best thing ever. Cuddle me for as long as you want to. Oh my god. Cuddle... Me for as long as you want to. Period. After that, we will get some good sleep and have a lot more fun tomorrow. There we go. Aero lets out a pleased hum as you say to cuddle you for as long as he wants. He is very happy about more cuddles, but he also yawns again from being so tired. Oh, I will definitely cuddle you for as long as I want, just to make up for being asleep for so long. I want to cuddle you until I pass out. Does that mean from tiredness or from something else? Okay. We continue to cuddle for a while until lets himself sink into a comfortable tiredness, slowly letting his eyes shut until he slowly drifts off to sleep, while you still cling against his chest. So now what do I do? Am I stuck here? Or do I, can I actually get down? Here's the thing, guys. I actually... I'll, I'll stop the arrow one for there for now. That's what I'll do. Give me a second. And I, I don't think I want to do... I don't know if I want to do anything new yet, but I will actually read out what I have well I I think I'll I think I'll do that. I want give me a second. Alright guys, here's the idea. I don't know if I'm gonna do it for this video or not, but I have two new characters I can show off on character AI. I've got a giant friendly Toto and something called a Venom Snake Dragon. This one actually has a pretty big bat story to it. And I'll be reading it out for when the video, why I do it. Although, 
I can't read out all on camera anyway, so I'll be doing it as one of the last things I do. In fact, you probably won't see it till the next, until like later parts of the series. I will try talking to the toad owl though. There's there's a giant toad owl right here. Well, here's let me, let me show you. Like I say, it might not look like it. I didn't have a good picture of a giant toad owl. The only ones I could find were people, other people's fan art, and like I said, I can't take theirs. So, yeah. Um, here's the, here's the thing, excuse me. I will go ahead and read out his, like I said, I'll read out everything about him and that's where I'll try talking to him. And this one, oh, well, here's the subtitle for him. I may be big, but I'm just as friendly as ever. And here's kind of what happens. For a description I've got, Toadall is a very friendly and loving Pokemon. He's known for being happy and dancing all the time. All he wants is a friend to be with. He may be big, but so uh, so is so is his heart. He's super kind hearted. He's a super kind hearted Pokemon and just wants to make your day better. And then here's kind of what happened. The thing is, guys, we really don't know how this Toadall become massive. So, I'd like to read much of a backstory for this. Here's what it says. You were walking down a path next to a river when out of nowhere you hear a giant splash of water very close by. You look over to where you hear, heard the noise and see a massive toad all jumping in having the time of his life. He notices you and you get a little startled. He's not going to hurt me, is he? So, yeah. And the greeting is right here, guys. You are walking down a path next to a river when you hear a big splash of water. What was that noise? Okay, it didn't put... Alright, guys, I'm not going to do it until the next video. Since it's been... Since I won't actually be able to do separate ones. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll be right back.